coming back today and I'm going to be doing a vlog so I'm trying to head out the door so I can take you guys along with me and I'm going to get more into what I'm doing because I'll be driving and so I'll probably do, be doing a lot of talking there. Um, I'll have to cut it down because uh, yeah, and it will be really long if I don't. So anyway, um, today I'm wearing just something that I, this is like an outfit that I've been wearing a lot lately and I don't know if you guys, yeah you can tell. Okay. So um, I'm wearing my new Stuart Weitzman over the knee leather boots and then I'm wearing my one teaspoon shorts and this is a like a long kind of moto tee. It's just any kind of tee would work or like a moto kind of tee work. This is from All Saints a while ago. I got it on sale for like $20. And then this is my new leather jacket that I got from All Saints 2 a couple weeks ago at the Bloomingdale's Friends and Family and I got it for really discounted. I think it was only like $400 after the original. It would have been closer to six after tax and everything so I was really stoked. And you guys know I've been really wanting a leather jacket but because I'm broad I need to find a jacket that doesn't is not fitted. And um, well that just for my personal preference, I don't like to wear fitted items. It's just not my taste. I don't know. So I like a, a jacket, a leather jacket to be thin, like not bulky, and oversized. I love oversized things. So I love this jacket, and I wanted the one with the belt too. So I saw it, and it was a great deal. So I decided to get it. Um, and then I'm wearing my new MCM bag, and I want to show you guys this. If you guys saw my last post when I was wearing like this almost the same bag but a black one and it was smaller this is the medium or large size i believe it's the medium one large one okay it's called medium i'll put it below but um i just love this one of all the the detail hardware you guys know how i love hardware stuff and i love the um leopard fur and it's more of like a box style which i re really really like it's like very in that kind of box look and i love to wear it just like i'll show you guys how i like to wear it has like this cool like comfortable shoulder thing and I just like to wear it like this and it's just so easy to throw and go and plus it's really roomy especially for today because I am gonna be oh, like going everywhere it's great and so I just carry it like that or I can carry it like this if I'm just like trying to run out of the car um, yeah so that's that and then oh and then I didn't talk about my jewelry I'm wearing. I'm just keeping it simple today with um, my Lux hardware in the silver and black and then the Osa Couture in the silver and black as well. So that's it. Um, about my shoes, I was going to tell you guys. So I know a lot of people have been asking about um, these new Stuart Weitzman boots. I can show you guys what they look like. Okay, so these are the Stuart Weitzman boots, and they go over the knee, but, um, sorry, my house was a mess back there. Um, they go over the knee. They don't go as tall as I'd like them to, but I've tried on so many different brands between Charles David and Steve Stuart, Stuart Weitzman. Those are the two kind of boot guys I wanted to go with, and this, the Stuart Weitzman boot quality is just a lot better than Charles David, even though I like the fact that Charles David has taller boots. Um, I love these. So if you guys are looking for a really great pair of over the knees, I would definitely go with the Stuart Weitzman. They are more expensive, but they're really nice boots. Okay, so I'm going to head into my car now, and um, I'll talk to you guys there. Hey guys, so I'm in the car, and I'm heading to Williams Sonoma, and I'll tell you guys why I'm like doing all this like stuff today. But um, I got my coffee and my favorite ice latte, 2% milk, and a little bit of vanilla and um, I'm kind of upset and I wasn't gonna say anything but I'm just it's I'm peeved about it I haven't been back to my favorite coffee spot because I noticed I went only one time after I filmed my last my, filmed the video where I showed you guys my coffee because I noticed on my check there was an additional 3% charged for um, the the employees health care and I don't feel like I'm responsible for that. Like that's, if those are your employees and like you pay their healthcare, you pay their healthcare. Like it has nothing to do with me. So I have the option, I just, I'm gonna choose not to go there as much because I'm already paying $6 for a freaking like I, ice latte. I'm not gonna pay anymore. Like take it out of that. I don't know. It's not my responsibility I feel like. 
it's just kind of irritating I'm already paying enough I'd rather them just pad the prices I'd rather them just added more like and not told me what it was for because that's not my responsibility anyway um so let's see yeah in two days it's Thanksgiving and so I'm like so stoked because I'm so excited for the holidays I just love the holidays so much I don't like hot weather I don't like um like summer I just feel like I'm not I feel like bad things happen to me in the summer I'm not in a good mood in the summer I'm just not a summery person I'm like wintry and cozy and I feel so inspired in the winter and I always do my best work when it's like raining out um, I don't know I just love that so it's not cool here at all it's 75 still but it is getting cool like, it was really cold one day last week and I worked like all day make like doing stuff I don't know what it is I just love cold weather but anyway, so um, today is like my off day kind of where I, cho I choose like a couple of days a week to just like um, take care of like me or like do a vlog or something like that. And um, so today I'm going to get stuff for Thanksgiving. And this year, well this year, every year I spend with my, my family obviously. But yeah, we're going to um, my parents' house for Thanksgiving dinner. And my mom is so great where she like just makes everything and doesn't ask for any help and no one ever helps her um, because she doesn't need it. It's like she has everything under control always. Every time I get to the house, it, everything's like in the oven ready to be done. Like I can help and it's always like she's like so tidy too. When I cook, it's like a freaking war zone. I swear it's horrible. Um, but yeah, so I told her this year like, I want to bring something if you don't tell me something to bring I'm just gonna do something that we don't really need so I'm gonna bring some kind of like drink like alcoholic drink um, I want it to be really festive though I want to be have I want to make like a festive apple cider kind of drink um, something like that so I want to do that and then I'm gonna make for us us in the States we know this appetizer um, I think it's like an American thing it's like a big bread bowl and in the bread bowl it's like that spinach dip so I'm gonna make that. It's my favorite thing. It's so fattening. I could probably eat the whole thing in a sitting. I'm not kidding. And all that bread, that sourdough bread. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, that. And then Nick. So Nick is um gluten is gluten free, and I give him so much shit for that because I'm just not. I just can't. I can't even right now. I'm just kidding. Um, I I just can't like deal with that. I'm. I don't get it. I mean, I know it's like it's a legit something, but I'm just don't. I'm not like that. Like, I feel like if I was gluten intolerant, I probably wouldn't even know it. I'd probably just keep eating. I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know. So Nick is gluten free for health reasons. Um, he says I don't. I don't know. I'm being so mean, right? Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna make him like a meat and cheese board. I'm gonna bring that, and he he loves like meats and cheeses and things like that like salamis and so I'm gonna make that appetizer um, so yeah I'm gonna make those things and then also I was kind of inspired I love brownies so much like who doesn't love brownies I love brownies and like I don't ever eat brownies but on like occasions like this so I was on William Sonoma's website last night looking at their recipes for their drinks and I noticed they had this like brownie pan that was really cool where it makes like individual brownies and then like they pop out individually so they're cooked on all these all sides like little like rectangles and um, they were frosted like so nicely and I just feel like that'd be really cute to bring I don't know this is the way I, I'm not sure maybe I can find like, a nice plate there to put everything on I don't know I'm just going for that I'm also going because they have like they have things for alcoholic drinks like mixes and things like that so like bougie things if I went to like Ralph's or something they wouldn't have like cool mixers they'd have like generic kind of mixer stuff so I'm just gonna go check out William Sonoma to see if there's anything I can you know buy to like spruce up some like recipe stuff I guess or just get inspired um, and then I'm gonna go to Rip just Ralph's to get stuff for the bread bowl the spinach bread bowl and I'm gonna go to Whole Foods to get some meats and cheeses for the meat and cheese board and I love going to Whole Foods for like the meat and for if I make a meat and cheese board because they have I mean Whole Foods is really expensive but they have these baskets of cheese within the cheese department like um, within the cheese whatever like trough I don't know what that thing is called refrigerator and in the basket there's like four dollar cuts of cheese so that's really cool if you want to try something try like a cheese and you don't want to spend a lot and there's I'm in the middle of the crosswalk sorry 
is it going around me? Sorry, that's my car if something gets too close. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And I think I'm, I don't think I'm being like overzealous. I think that they, I think I'll be able to manage this. So that's good. And then tomorrow, um, we're shipping our, my last day before, um, the end of the week, we're doing our last ship date tomorrow before the end of the week for the holiday. So it's going to be really busy. So after I ship all day, then I'm going to come home and make everything and probably that'll probably be my dinner because I'll be picking, like just picking at everything. I know that's what I do. I just can't just like make something without pick at picking at it. Yeah. So, um, I'm on my way and I'm not paying attention to the road because, and there's so much traffic in to get off this road. There's always so much traffic here. Oh God, it's horrible. It's so stupid. I can't, oh my God, you guys. Another thing, like, everyone loves LA so much, right? Everyone's like such an LA fan who's here. All my friend, my girlfriends and stuff, they love LA. I, Nick loves LA. He's like, I was kind of born here. I was born in the Valley, but um, we, my parents moved to away from here in the valley when I was really young. But um, I just can't get with it, you guys. Like, I think there's just too many people. It's, there's so much traffic. There's like, it's just, uh, God, this, I just, there's like no plants anywhere. It's all just like, I don't know. It's not even like a nice city. Like, I feel like New York is like a, like a real city. Like Shanghai is a real city. Like I love, well, Shanghai, I love it. It's like my favorite place in the world. But those are like real cities. Like LA is not a real city. LA is just like this huge, like concrete block place full of like old buildings like not even old like just like post-war buildings like not even post-war like 70s i don't know i'm just like i don't not like huge into la maybe because of traffic and i don't know I'm just not with like this i'm not in the la scene i'm just not in the la scene i can't get with it <laughs> Okay, so I'm just walking back to my car and then I'm gonna be on my way to the supermarket. Got all my goodies from William Sonoma. Don't you guys love this kind of music? So it's like free Sirius right now. So if you have like a Sirius option in your car but you don't pay for it, you can listen to it for free until December 2nd, I saw like a commercial about it. So I'm like so stoked because I love the 40s on four. I can like pretend like I'm living in like, um, like a different time period because you guys know I love like old and day kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm here at Ralph's now and I decided I'm not gonna go to Whole Foods. I'm just gonna stay stick to Ralph's because this Ralph's has really good meats and cheeses. So I just got back, I was at Williams Sonoma, I got a bunch of stuff, spent too much money, probably have to return a couple of things because I don't think I even need those. Um, and then I'm gonna go home and show you guys what I got and prep a little bit, so that'll be fun. Okay, so now I'm back from shopping for um, Thanksgiving, for helping out, <laughs> not doing whole Thanksgiving, but helping out. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Williams Sonoma first. And this is the brownie pan that I was telling you guys about. It's the one where it's like you pour, you know, like the, the brownie mix in each one. And so it ends up being like an individual brownie rather than cutting them. So you can like frost them easier too, I think. I think they'll be really cute set up just like straight up on a plate. I don't know, I'll try it. Then I got um, these two, what is this? Um, winter forest candle and winter forest in the dish soap. And I really love my like,
favorite winter scent is anything pine, but like true pine, not like sweetsy pine or something mixed with pine, like real pine, like Christmas tree. And then I got these all-purpose towels, and they were $20 for four. I thought that was pretty good because I'll use these, um, you know, in my kitchen. I don't like to use anything but white, typically. And then I got this, these vanilla beans that I'm going to do something else with. And this was the honey syrup that I needed to make some kind of like fancy drink, but I didn't even get anything else. So I think I might return that. And then I got this big spatula and I needed a spatula. This is just such a good quality one. And this was $11.95, that's not too bad. And this was on sale. Okay, then next I'm gonna show you guys what I got at, um, let's see, Ralph's for the cheese board. And this is my cheese plate, and I got it at Sir La Tab like a while ago, maybe last year when I had my Christmas party. And um, I really like it because it's marble white, it's really cute. Um, and it wasn't very expensive, I think it was like under $30. So I got a brie, and then I got a gouda, and I got this is um, a, a jalapeno cheddar, and Nick loves jalapeno cheddar. And then I got some prosciutto, a salami, some sorry, dry, dried apricots and some walnuts just for like scattered stuff. But I think I need some grapes too, I'm not sure. And then um, I have bread or crackers. My mom has, has bread or crackers. Okay, then um, here's the brownie mix I got. Um, I think this looks good. And then here's the frosting. And I don't make the frosting. I said I to, for brownies I just use the box. I think it tastes so good. And then my favorite wine is Anitha is Moscato. I love Moscato d'Asti. It's my favorite. Um, this one's by Cupcake Wine. I used to be in love with Cupcake Wine. Not so much anymore, but I do love their Moscato d'Asti. And then here is the big spinach bowl I was telling you about. So they were all out of the big bowl. So I got this tiny one just in case I can't find anything else. I'm gonna have to go again tomorrow. Um, but that's the bowl. And you just cut out the top of it and the insides and then you're gonna put, so it looks like this. Oh, here it is. That's what it's gonna look like. So that's the dip, and sour cream, mayonnaise, uh, spinach, and water chestnuts. I got those over here. And water chestnuts chopped up all go in there. And then tonight, I'm gonna make dinner for us, and I'm gonna make, I got steak, I got one ribeye, and one, um, what is this? One ribeye, and I got one New York. And I'm gonna make, not bad price either, and these are prime. Um, so I'm gonna make steak salad. I got some romaine, some avocado, some red cabbage, some cucumber, tomatoes, and I'm gonna make a steak salad tonight with like, I have a yogurt kind of base dressing that I really like and I'll use that. And then I love these, it's so easy. They're just little potatoes and you just stick this whole thing in the microwave for four minutes and they steam themselves. And then just put a little bit of salt over it and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. So that's it, that's like my little like Thanksgiving grocery haul. And I'm really excited to start my to start prepping tomorrow. I wish I could eat this now, but I don't. Oh, I got this for a snack for me. I'm gonna just eat these right now with that yogurt-based um, dressing that I like. I'll show you guys the yogurt-based dressing. So I have a really skinny, skinny model friend. So if she's watching this, she's gonna laugh. But um, she's like model skinny. Um, and she told me about this. It's Bolt House Ranch dressing, and it's. Um, yogurt based you guys if you like junk food like me and if you love ranch dressing you will love this it doesn't even taste like healthy ranch dressing it's so good so go try this I got this at the pavilion pavilions and they're having it actually on sale two for one so I'm gonna go back and get more probably if it's still on sale okay guys so that's it I'm gonna go eat now I'm gonna eat this and this probably I'm gonna eat this whole thing <laughs> okay bye